Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? Only one time did I consider that. I was up late at night and I was like, I think I'm gonna delete my TikTok account because I want like a fresh start. I wanna start new. And then I was like, I probably shouldn't. And then I went to bed, woke up and it was permanently banned. So be careful what you wish for you guys because the universe, it's listening and it will give you exactly what you want. I still have not gotten it back. Do you have any hidden talents? I wouldn't call this a talent, but I can lick my nose. Um, I just, it's hard to call it a talent because imagine I go on America's Got Talent and I'm like, hi, I'm Nicholas Fillman, I'm 17 from Austin, Texas. Where's my golden buzzer? You know what I'm saying? But I can do that. I can also do this. But that's like really freaking gross, so. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Your main goal should be to entertain an audience, not money or like success, you know what I'm saying? Obviously you wanna be successful in everything you do, but if you're not trying to make people happy or laugh or whatever you're trying to do, if you're not, if your mind isn't in the right place, people are gonna notice that. It's, you know, the same thing when people do random things that they know are gonna annoy people just for the clout or just for the views and for the money. It's not gonna get you as far as you want it to if you actually make connections with people and actually get an audience that becomes a fan of you. You can't buy people's love. What are your favorite movies of all time? Black Swan is probably my favorite movie of all time right now because I relate to it a little bit, just a little tiny bit, because I also strive for perfection just like the ballerina does. It's hard to even take the moral of the story and apply it to my life because it's so perfect. The way that the ballerina wants to be perfect is the exact same way for me. And she solved the problem by, spoiler alert, dying. I'm not trying to do that. Which people or accounts are your favorite to follow on social media? Let me go check. Olive Bra, love her so much. Ben of the Week, Zoe and Baron, Haley Pham, Antonio Garza, Matt the Person, and Spence Wall are like, I love them so much. Leah Miller, I freaking love. Miss Jackson Walker, mm hmm. Addison Ray, even. When did you first go viral? I went viral August 2020, around there. I posted a random video, a random draft. I wasn't even at home. Um, I was on like a little vacation and I posted a video and it went viral and I was like, oh. And so in the moment I made a video almost just like it, posted that one the next day. It went the same viral like amount. Then I got home and I was like, we're gonna go full throttle now. And it worked. I got a million followers in like 10 days or something. It was super crazy. And now I'm banned. <laughs> What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Probably getting banned on TikTok because now when you click on my profile, it says I was banned due to multiple uh, community violations or something. I never violated any community guidelines. I emailed TikTok and they said that I was banned because they thought I was under 13 and I am definitely not. You can check famous birthdays. Um, so hopefully I get it back. What advice would you give to your past self? I would say just do not post your feelings because no one cares. No one followed you to hear about your problems because even though they're a big deal to you, they are nothing to anyone else. No one cares. Keep that to yourself. Save it to the drafts. Save it to snap memories. Put it in your my eyes only even. If you could travel anywhere, where would you choose? I have this image of New York City, obviously, the way everyone does. I would love to go there. Obviously, you know, California. California. What is your favorite birthday memory? I went to the beach when I was turning 17. I would say my 16th birthday though was the most memorable because it was just me and two of my friends going to the lake, order dominoes. It was just so nice. And my life was so good at that point that I don't even know how I'm gonna get that back. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? The problem is I live somewhere where nothing really delivers to me, like Uber Eats doesn't deliver, DoorDash, nothing delivers. The only thing that delivers is Domino's. So I have this love with Domino's pizza, only because it's the only thing that delivers and it's mainly, not anymore, but I used to eat it literally all the time. So I just wanna say Domino's because it's just so freaking good. If you were stranded on an island and could only take three objects, what would they be? Definitely would take my camera because uh, vlogging that would be a great YouTube video. Like not even to be like an annoying influencer, but not clickbait. Stranded on an island. Um, and then probably my phone and, ooh, I was gonna say a charger, but there's definitely no outlets. Oh, my camera, the cord, and a portable charger. 
What's your favorite video that you've ever posted? On my second account, which I guess is my main right now because my main account's banned, um, I posted a video with me and my sister where we pretended to be French and it blew up. It's probably my most liked video on that account, maybe, I don't know. Super funny. We were just talking gibberish, but it sounds kind of French because we're like, Como vous avez la voz en toi es bien? I don't think that means anything, and if it does, let me know. When was a time in your life you felt like you were at a crossroads? At a crossroads? And how did you decide what to do? Probably like in 10 seconds, I'm gonna have to decide where I wanna go eat, and it's either gonna be like Sonic or Starbucks. Let's decide it right now. Starbucks is more expensive, but like the vibe, Sonic is so fast and so cheap and a little more filling. It is a further drive though. Starbucks, I know more of the workers and maybe I'll have a fun experience, but I'll have to tip more. And it's already more expensive, but Sonic is a further drive, which is gas. How will I decide this, you guys? Comment down below where I should go. I'm probably gonna go to Starbucks. If you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Um, what am I doing? Who are your role models? Honestly, I don't know because I don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know if I want to keep doing TikTok, if I want to be a comedian, actor, dancer. Uh, I don't know what else there would be actually for me. I've done musical theater since I was six years old, so I really have a lot of open ideas right now. So it's hard to have a role model when you don't know what you want to do. If you could take control of anyone's Instagram account for one day, whose would it be and why? Probably either Kim Kardashian because like, I just want to see those insights. I want to see those numbers. Same with Billie Eilish. Her numbers are insane. Lastly, if you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I don't really like going on vacations because I like getting things done. Thank you guys for watching, I'm Nicholas Fellman. You can find me on anywhere, Nicholas Fellman. Subscribe to the Famous Birthdays page and I'll see you guys later.